up guys Mar from Wandering Souls back with a new video um, another collection of the this time CDs and I got a mix of uh, CDs with a blu-ray so this is a kind of um, well, let's complete the blu-ray with some CDs bonus extra so to put it that way um, stuff I found pretty cheap and um, yeah I thought let's share them with you guys um, some heavy metal in here some uh, power metal, some black metal, um, this is kind of stuff in here and uh, yeah probably something stuff for everyone. Um, the first one is uh, accept with objection overruled. Um, this is the comeback album from accept after um, the short lived stand with another singer and then Yo came back in the early 90s and um, this is the first album they released, this was released in 1993 and it's a pretty decent album I have to say, yeah, really good tunes on it and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed spinning it it's also like a little mini poster and the back has uh, lyrics and stuff like that so CD looks like this and the back of the CD and sorry for the glare there um, yeah decent album some decent tracks on here the title track is uh, fantastic uh, don't wanna be like you uh, protectors of terror slave to metal um, sick dirty me is a fantastic song um yeah fantastic fantastic uh tracks and um, there's also a kind of a ballad song on here um it's called amamos la vida and kind of um you know trying to sing a bit cleaner it's uh, really funny to hear it's not a bad track but it's not one of my favorites on the album but um yeah for the diversity on the album it's really good that there is such kind of track um but yeah this is a Pretty nice comeback album. Um, and not an album a lot of people talk about. I've seen it shown, but not as much as the older work of the, the later work. Um, so this is kind of in the middle somewhere. Uh, yeah, this, uh, because except it's still existing. Uh, but yeah, a, a really decent album. So um, if you find it, it's not a bad purchase. Um, if you like the Udo stuff, then you can go wrong with this. Um, straight up heavy metal um no except uh, next up is a classic um uh, from a band that uh i adore a lot um, i had this album um before we moved but uh and and, uh, and um kind of a best of album as well and it wasn't mean to get rid of the best of album and keeping this album but i accidentally made this mistake to do this album away um Shame on me, but I'm glad I've got it back in the collection. This is Black Sabbath with Heaven and Hell. Um, classic Black Sabbath album. Um, first one with Dio on vocals. Um, fantastic, fantastic album. And this is a reissue, but I don't mind. It really looks really good. Um, there's a lot of liner notes and pictures and stuff like that in the booklet as well. So that's really cool. And back of the album. Um, yeah, fantastic stuff, guys. Um, Neo Night, Children of the Sea, Lady Evil, Heaven and Hell. You know, all great tracks. Um, fantastic album. Um, if you haven't heard this, this is fantastic. Dio does a great job with Black Sabbath as well. Um, um yeah. Really enjoy this album. Fantastic, fantastic release. Let's have a nip of my drink here. Next one up is a Swedish black metal band. Um, this is called. This is the band called Afslut, and this is called. Album is called Tyranny. Um, Swedish black metal. Um, fast. 
melodic here and there uh, it definitely remind me of stuff like dark funeral and stuff like that if you like that then you probably will dig this uh, straightforward pumping stuff here uh, this is their second album released in 2019 i think yeah 2019 uh, at least on uh, osmos productions um yeah they're a fantastic band um Looking forward to pick up the older album from them as well. Um, they have released two albums so far, but um, hopefully they will release this year a new one, who knows. But uh, it's a fantastic album. The artwork looks great as well, uh, really fantastic done. Um, The five piece, as you guys can see, and yeah, all the lyrics and stuff like that. And the band picture in the back, and on the back of the booklet as well. Yeah, fantastic stuff. It's like I said, if you like things like Darth, you know, you can't go wrong with this. Um, yeah, really good stuff. So, go check out Afslot with uh, tyranny um yeah really great swedish black metal next up is a black metal band from iceland uh, this is carpe noctum with vitron which is this one and this one is uh he's the echo 66 uh, and it's a fallout dg pack And this is the CD, and the booklet is here. Um, yeah, fantastic, um, straightforward, raw sounding. It's not super raw, but has a raw edge to it. It's like not uh, overproduced, let's put it that way. It's good produced, but it has a raw edge to the guitar um, tone. Um, yeah, really good stuff. Um, I really enjoyed listening to this. I have to spin this a bit more to get more into this, but uh, so far I enjoy it really well. Uh, the lyrics are all in Icelandic as well, so I can tell you what they're all about. But uh, it all fits the aesthetic of the album. Um, yeah, really good stuff. This is super atmospheric. There's some Icelandic bands that uh, are. Um, has atmospheric moments but overall it's it's mere straightforward here and there with some twists it's not really um yeah atmospheric how do you call it um yeah the tempo is pretty f straightforward let's put it that way it's not that long uh dragging stuff no it's it's more uh it's not super fast or something but it has straightforward pace um to it um and unless it's really good, um, Carpe Noctum, and that was a band that I was not super familiar with, but um, I'm not really disappointed with this, so, um, and for six bucks, it's not a really bad purchase, so who cares actually, so um, yeah, awesome stuff. Next up is the third release by Isengard, and if you are not familiar with Isengard, um, this was a black metal old school metal sounding project from Fenris from Dark Throne um, he released some albums halfway in the 90s two albums uh, Vinterskuge and Hustmorke um, I think I have Hustmorke on vinyl um, this is the second album from that project I have this is Vargevuldeugen or something like that probably butchered that and there's a really Obi strip from Peaceful on there. Uh, this is the third effort, and actually this is yeah just material that was not really released on any format, any album. Um, it's interesting. Listen, I have to say, um, is it stuff that I could recommend everybody? Probably not. Um, but it had definitely that old school touch to it. It's not really black metal in a way. It has definitely a clean singing to it as well. Some heavy metal, old school heavy metal sound into attached to it. Um, 
kind of viking ish it's it's really weird um I wouldn't say a uh, buffery warship that I don't think it really sounds exactly to that. It has definitely elements of buffery, but it's uh, yeah, it's a bit different. Let's put it that way. Um, Fenris did everything himself on this record: uh, vocals, guitars, bass, drums, everything. Produced, Martin engineered. Everything is Fenris. Um, yeah, interesting release. Um, think it's better than the other two uh, probably not um, but um, yeah, it's an interesting listen um, but like I said it's not stuff for everyone um, it's not super raw or anything but it's a kind of um, yeah it's, it's a kind of weird mismatch of stuff um, definitely try to experiment but it's um, yeah, not the stuff that uh, every black metal love would love or a heavy metal fanatic. Um, it's all weird, old school sounding. It, 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 he calls himself cult metal. Um, yeah, it has that old school feel to it. That's it, definitely for sure. But um, yeah, interesting listen. Isengard with Verjen Dugan. And logo Isengard looks like this. So. Yeah, if you're interested, go listen to it. Um, I wouldn't buy it straight away. Just listen to for a couple of tunes on YouTube or whatever, and uh, decide before you buy this. But it's an interesting uh, experience. Let's put it that way. And the last one on the stack is the CD Blu-ray combi I bought. I bought this really cheap, actually, around 10 euros or something. It's kind of a surprise for. A release from 2020 uh, what is a band i follow a long time and um, i don't have any albums by them anymore i had a couple not too much i think three or something back in the day but um yeah i thought let's, let's pick this up it's interesting uh, i mainly bought this for the blu-ray um but um yeah i have to watch the blu-ray actually still uh, <laughs> that's the kind of fun i bought for the blu-ray but i have to still watch this it's weird i know but I listened to the CDs and it's really interesting. Um, live album, let's put it that way. This is Hammerfall with Life Against the World. Um, yeah, if you're familiar with Hammerfall, uh, you know what it is. Power metal, heavy metal from Sweden. Um, been around since halfway the 90s, so um, yeah. Comes in a really nice slipcase here. Um, it's a DG book fallout thing here. And here is a poster I will show in a few seconds. Uh, we are the two CDs and the Blu-ray. And the back. With the track listings. And the booklets. It's yeah, kind of big poster thingy. Live pictures and the back is yeah, the front cover in big si bigger size but yeah a fantastic live recording stuff from uh, mid era hammerfall early hammerfall and some later hammerfall it's kind of a mixture of everything um, but so it's really interesting recording and um, yeah I really enjoyed it so um, yeah I'm still uh, curious how the DVD of the blu-ray looks and um, yeah, definitely a really nice uh, package by Napalm Records. And um, yeah, if you're into uh, old school heavy metal, power metal stuff, then you definitely will dig this. Um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Bandwidth experience, so you can't go wrong here. Go check out Hammerfall with life against the world. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, you kind of see a bit that it, the area I'm in is already uh, changed. Um, why is that? I why that is? Um, well, I'm back in the old room again. Um, we changed again, yes, again. Um, some people probably will ask why. Um, well, I kind of had to actually um, because. You are getting a new bed, and uh, it appears the bed is um, has um, 
headboard and that's a kind of bit thicker than make the bed a bit longer and um, the, the nasty thing is that it takes a bit too ma much space with that 10 centimeters extra that um, the walking space behind the bed uh, in the situation that it was uh, took too many room so um, the problem is then walking behind the bed is a bit tight like this so if we had this to walk behind the bed it goes to like that um, kind of small definitely if you want to go in the dark outside of the bed it's and you thought we could turn the bed maybe to do the window um, that was not an option as well so um, sadly we had to change back rooms again um, it also means that I have less space for the collection um, so I had to improvise if I want to grow my collection again um, how to do that um, still thinking on things but um, I will have to do a new room tour probably and um, also um, yeah after I have done the reorganization again um, but um, sadly it is what it is um, I have now less space um, so yeah it is what it is um, kind of fed up with it but um, yeah um, if you want to sleep well and you really needed a new bed um, and didn't want to cancel it because it, it for the 10 centimeters it's ridiculous so um, um, so we had to change the rooms back again the other room has enough space for the bed so uh, because that's a big room um, yeah shit happens but um, yeah it will turn out great because we need some good sleep uh, especially my girlfriend and uh, also me because I sometimes no notice that I'm tired and that I kind of miss an hour of sleep or something um, yeah it's kind of shitty but it is what it is um, so um, yeah that's why we changed it back a bit um, it's for the better um, for me as collector it's a kind of a bummer but um, I will live through that um, that super um, irritating but um, yeah I have to improvise if I will still collect of course I will collect but uh, not as uh, it was again so uh, probably will be more careful what I buy in the future um, unless I will need to think, think of things out because as you see the cabinet is pretty full and I have still a quarter of cabinet outside the cabinet so I have to buy one cube at least so it will probably go up there or something a small one and uh, we'll see, fill that up and feel, see where it goes um, but um, yeah it's kind of shitty but it is what it is and um, yeah I'm still happy with my collection I'm not gonna sell anything to make make bigger room more room or something like that um, yeah I love what I have and um, I'm not gonna sell again and find out later that I miss certain albums I had that before in the past you know you guys know that with the move um, you guys slowly see some stuff returning to the collection again because I'm uh, missing some kind of albums um, to listen to and um, yeah I not want to do that again um, only if it really needs to if, if we have some big financial problems or something but that's not what we have now right now so uh, not going to do selling anything um, so it is what it is and um, yeah yeah i can ramble on and on about this but um yeah the change is happened and um yeah we just wait on the new bed and um then you get rid of the old bed and uh the new one in and um then it's been set be settled again um and then uh yeah i need one cube extra to fill the stuff i have on the ground here um like a stack of this 
thick I think something like that so it's a bit a quarter, quarter third of a cube something like that but um, see I got still got a few records in to come but it's not that large amount that I um, have that cube again filled so this will be pretty easy and um, yeah we'll see what happens in the future um, maybe have to rearrange some stuff in the room or thing to uh, figure things out how can I save space and still have the same collection um, but we'll see um, anyways thank you for watching guys I'm rambling too long um, hope to see you guys back soon and um, take care of yourself and each other and um, have a great day guys cheers